me and my mom had a great conversation tonight. I'm about to upload it. Okay, so better off watching. I'm so excited. And it's all about faith and integrity. Okay? Oh, guys! It's good to be here. Uh, good evening everyone or uh good morning good evening or yeah um this is merlin and i am sarah and we're here serving you yes and you know what it's a very blessed day we just came home from church and you know the sermon is very good anyway we came from liquid church <laughs> What's our topic for today? Do I don't know? know. And this is our I topic so for today. Uh, it's okay. all about integrity. Mama, can I'm you I'm so tired for today. Yeah, but you have to, you know, you have to say something about integrity. Uh, okay, about integrity. You don't have to be tired because okay. people, you know, are looking for us, our content. Okay, our content is about to share about the integrity and, and the faithfulness. And uh, what is the meaning of integrity? Yeah, the integrity, it means mm, it is the quality of being honest and having a strong moral principle or moral uprightness. And it is a personal choice to hold oneself to consistent standards. Yeah. And ethics, integrity is regarded as the honesty and, and truthfulness or accuracy of one's action. Oh, what's that? English? Yeah. Integrity can stand in opposition to hypocrisy. Hmm. Yeah. In the judging with the standards of integrity involved regarding eternal consistency as a virtue, as I just said, first virtue, Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, the simple, you know, the simple meaning pwede of ba, integrity is... Pwede ba simple na lang natin, yeah, no? Yeah, it's, it's honesty. Honesty. Yeah. So, so, babawan mo kasi naman yeah, English. Masyado mo, oh, yeah, nakakanausubid po, mga kaibigan, kapatid, at kapamilya. So, ang ibig sabihin, it's all, you know, about, you know, about standing firmly on what you believe. Yun yung para sa akin, yung meaning ng integrity. Doing right. Yeah, you're standing firm on your decision. Yeah, yon. Correct. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So, that's you know, there are circum there are circumstances there are circumstances to test our integrity. You know, in every day of our lives we experience that. Talagang mm -hmm. sinusubukan tayo. God is testing us about mm -hmm. being faithful on what we believe. You know? Faithful of what you're doing. Yeah, on what we're doing every day. Yeah. You know, most of the days, it's easier to lie. It's easy, easier to cheat. And easier to spend a lot of money. Oh, oh, how about if you don't have money? If you don't have money, <laughs> so don't, don't spend something. You don't have nothing. Don't, to, you know, you, you have, have nothing, nothing to spend, so you, then you're having a lot of debt to pay because of... You know, buying this and buying that, it's not a good thing, you know. You should, you know, spend depending on the income that you have, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's right because, you know, money is tight. People think that, you know, they can buy everything that they want. But the thing is, we have to buy the things that we need. Need is different from wants, you okay. know. Minsan kasi yung mga mata natin masyadong na-attract sa mga things, sa mga bagay, sa mga branded. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Pero yung end up tayo rin yung nagsasuffer at the end. Mm -hmm. It's a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Alam mo yun, it's a disadvantage kung hindi tayo marunong maghawak ng pera. Oh, di ba form din yun ng pagiging ano mo, pagiging meaning, for example about integrity is mm. you, you're telling something about mayroon kang gustong sabihin mayroon kang mayroon kang sinabi sa kapwa mo tapos hindi mo naman tinupad so it will test your integrity yeah kailangan mo gawin kung anong sinasabi mo dapat, dapat gawin, gawin mo kagaya ng ibang mga tao di ba sinasabi nila bibili ako ng ganito kagaya ng sa bahay ng oo kagaya mo na first yung itakal muna natin about sa pagbili ng mga 
ano kung nga sa ano sa isang sitwasyon gusto mo bumili ng bahay matagal mo na gusto bumili tapos magsa-sign up ka Diba? Magsa-sign up ka doon. Pupunta ka sa real estate company. Tapos may mga fill up ka. Tapos meron kang babayaran monthly. Hindi mo naman kaya bayaran monthly. Tapos gusto mo mag-purchase ng house. That's too impossible. Diba? Wala kang dignidad. Isip-isip. Wala kang integrity. Isip-isip din. Kasi alam mo naman ang buhay ngayon. Madali lang magbayad Mag- ng, ano, ng down payment. Pero yung monthly. Yun yung pinakamang na foreclose. Oo, tsaka syempre sa pag-spending din natin everyday. We have to spend right. Tama? Kasi kung hindi mo naman nililista yung mga kailangan mong bilhin. Ang dami na. Diba? Kunti lang. Oo, oh, kunti lang. So, Talaga, sa next topic naman tayo. About cheating. Mama, can you please elaborate it about cheating? Cheating is cheating. Yeah. Different kind of cheating. Sige na ba ba? Yeah. Easier to cheat too in, a, in examination. Oo, oh, nag-aano lang tayo, nag-try lang tayo kung ano yung itsura natin. Hindi, talagang ipopost ko to. Hi, anyway, she doesn't know na ipopost ko to. Shh, just be quiet guys. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope that you all enjoy our conversation. God bless!